it's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the zoom position in Hope you guys like the preview of this very strong zoom transition here and I'm excited to show you guys how to make it. If you guys didn't know, I recently updated the TV Glitch series to the CRT presets instead. So if you guys are interested in the CRT aesthetic, trying to improve your CRT effects, the CRT presets is perfect for you. And you guys can save $5 by using the discount code PELLE while checking out. Now let's get into the tutorial here. So as you guys can see, I'm in After Effects. I've added some footage I'm going to be showcasing the transition on. And here we're going to start off by making a adjustment layer. So press Ctrl Alt Y. I'm going to make the adjustment layer one and a half seconds in length. And when your adjustment layer is one and a half seconds, you guys are going to be positioning it and it's going to be a half second after the transition point and a one second before the transition point. Uh, so that's how I made my adjustment layer. Now the first thing we're going to be adding is called transform. And here I'm going to start off by keyframe the scale here at 100. I'm going to go one frame before the transition point and I'm going to set it to 175. So it's going to be very zoomed in here. After that at the transition point I'm going to set it to just 75. So it's going to, we're going to get these black bars here. And then at the end set it to 100 again. Now we're going to open up the adjustment layer, effects, transform, mark the keyframes here, press F9, select one keyframe, go to graph editor, I'm going to make it pretty sharp here, something like this, graph looks good, and this is the result you guys will be getting here. This already looks pretty smooth and clean in my opinion. And one setting you guys can add to make it even more smooth is the motion blur setting here. So if you guys check this uh, little box here, you guys will get the motion blur effect here. So it's going to, as you guys can see, create this motion blur effect. Yeah. We still have a lot of adjustment to make. So first of all, to get rid of these black bars here, we're going to be adding an effect called the motion tile. And this effect is basically going to fill out these black bars with the actual footage again so uh, I'm gonna drag this above the transform effect here and I'm going to uh, use the output width and height here settings so you could be increasing it 200 300 around there just so it cover covers up the black bars basically and after that you're going to press mirror edges so now it's going to be a little bit more realistic and smoother looking and uh, and this is how the transition looks now instead it's a little bit better now but you guys can still see the uh, sides there which i uh, don't think looks that good but we are obviously going to fix that in the rest of the effects we're going to be adding but i'm also going to be showcasing the crt presets in the crt presets pack and you guys can just add the adjustment layer by pressing ctrl alt y go to your user presets and once you're here in the presets, you guys can see we have the full CRT effects here. We could add the damaged CRT, for example. And this is the result you guys will be getting. I think it looks, yeah, incredible in my opinion. Really, really cool CRT effects. And this is just one of the effects from this pack here. So you guys can choose the retro CRT effect here. And this is the look you guys will get with the retro CRT effect here. Looks really really good if you guys think this is maybe too bright for you you guys can just add a adjustment layer under add the curves and then simply just drag it down like this and it's going to make it a little bit darker not as bright as before so it's an easy fix if you guys think it's too bright sometimes you don't need to do this way with the curves you guys can also drag down the glow settings there's a lot of methods you guys can use but uh, this is yeah the most simple one I think that method is really good to use when you guys have different type of clips some are maybe too dark some are maybe too bright then the curves effect comes perfectly in so you guys can adjust to make the whole preset and effect look the best in your clip but yeah that's just two of the effects from the CRT preset pack if you guys want to check this pack out don't forget to use the discount code PELLE to save five dollars on that pack Really proud of this pack. Hope you guys enjoyed the pack as well. 
Now let's get back to the zoom transition here. So after you have added motion talent transform, we're going to be adding flicker here. So I'm going to be using the Sapphire plugin. I'm going to be adding the flicker effect they have. On the amplitude, I'm going to set it to two. Press the clock here to create a keyframe. Go to the beginning of the transition, set it to zero. Same at the end, zero there as well. Then I'm going to be increasing the random color amplitude as well. Set it to one at the transition point keyframe zero at the beginning and the end after that open up the adjustment layer mark all of the keyframes press f9 we're going to be adjusting the amplitude graph here so you're going to be selecting one of the keyframes there go to graph editor make a simple sharp graph here just like this here simple sharp graph we're going to get this nice flicker at the transition point here looks clean adds a little extra touch to it in my opinion i don't want to make you know these normal, boring kind of zoom transitions. I wanna, you know, elevate the effect even more to make it even more unique and, uh, yeah, you know, stand out a, a little bit. After that, I'm going to be adding CC lens here. And this is what I would say really is going to make this zoom transition stand out. This is going to warp the edges of the whole, yeah, zoom or clip, basically. So if you go to the transition point here, I'm going to set the size to 150 and the convergence to 100 as well. So you guys can see it's going to get this kind of zoom here. Looks very, very cool in my opinion. And you're going to go to the end, set the convergence to zero and the size to 500. Set the same specifications at the beginning as well. After that, open up CC lens, mark the keyframes, F9. We're going to make a sharp graph here as well. Simple sharp graph. Just drag these two in simple sharp graph. Do the same for the convergence settings here. You guys can go out to the graph editor. And I think I want to add a little bit more blur to this. So I'm going to be adding the radial blur effect here. We're going to be changing the type here to zoom. Which is going to be perfect for this transition. Because it's a zoom transition. And you're going to go to the transition point. And I'm going to set the amount to 50 here. But this is how the blur is going to look. Makes it a little bit stronger in my opinion. Keyframe the amount at 50 at the transition point. Set it to 0 at the ending and the beginning. Radio blur. Mark the keyframes. F9. Open the graph. Here make the same graph as you guys did before. Simple sharp graph. And this is how the blur is going to change the effect. And make it even better in my opinion. I think it looks really really good now. And... The last touch I'm going to be adding to the transition here is going to be adding Deep Glow. Just add Deep Glow, increase the radius to 500. Go to the transition point, keyframe the exposure at 1. Set the exposure to 0 at the beginning and at the end. Open up Deep Glow, mark the keyframes F9. Same graph as we did for the rest of the effects. Sharp graph. This is how the transition looks now. I think it looks really, really good. If you guys think the flicker is too strong, you guys can just drag it down. And if you guys like this transition here, don't forget to like and subscribe and share the tutorial. Don't forget to check out our website, editingvisuals.com, where we have pretty, really cool editing packs in my opinion. Just like the CRT presets I showed you guys before. Really, really cool CRT aesthetic you guys can implement to your music videos and edits. If you want to check it out, don't forget to use the discount code Pellet to save $5. Don't forget to check out our Instagram. Discord server and I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.